the foundation's been working in partnership with Bar Spa since uh, December, and um, we did an event at Corsham Court. And um, as a funder, the foundation's always been very keen to make sure that community development is supported. Um, and we've also worked a lot with the Federation, and really the ideas all just came together. It seemed like a good idea to do a conference that focused on community development learning that was based at Bar Spa and involved the Foundation as well. Yeah, when we got the funding for the project and we, we got the approval to go ahead with the project, we, at that point we had the idea of one or two events being part of the project. But what sort of came pretty clear very quickly was that with the range of organisations that the Foundation already had sort of contact with and networks with, there was a real potential for an event which might kind of share ideas and look for ways forward in the current sort of um, situation that's facing community development. So that's the kind of way that the conference emerged. It was a sort of natural development of a conversation that started through the partnership that we established. Now obviously we are a bit concerned, all of us, about community development and community development learning not being very high profile at the moment and its value hasn't diminished, its value is still there and it's still desperately needed and we know that from the groups that we work with. So, you know, we wanted to show as well a bit, showcase a bit, what's actually going on with regard to community development learning. I think the, the Federation and the Foundation have worked together quite a lot. Um, so, for example, if the Federation's had any um, funding, which we've been able to include South West Foundation in, and the Foundation has done the work down here in the South West. So for us, it was a great opportunity to come down here, do something together. And like Jan says, a lot of what was being talked about earlier, and we're on the slides and we're on the report, in the report, is all the work that's been done together over the last few years. And of course, I just like travelling. <laughs> <laughs> well, there must be a bit more to it. Than that. No, I mean, I think the, the opportunity uh, from the Federation's point of view, from the um, management yeah. board or group point of view, it's there was an opportunity. There was a need also for us to have a meeting which gave the members that we have and others a chance to get together to talk about where the situation is at the moment. And uh, it was an ideal opportunity. The timing is good. And um, there's an agenda for us to go through. So. It was, it was like falling off a log, I think. So yeah, it's funny, there's, there's two particular things from today that really seem to stand out, which is that there, there is a sort of general feeling that despite the fact that it's really, really difficult time at the moment, there, there's a lot of encouraging words being spoken about work that goes on in the community. Now, they may or may not turn into encouraging actions from the government's point, but there's a lot of encouraging words. And of course, there's already a fantastic amount of expertise of doing that, which has been really well represented here today. So, with any luck, the combination of, of the what feels like some encouragement out there and the, you know, with the skills of everybody that's at the conference today, the conference will kind of help focus that more into some um, further working together and developments that, that really might mean we'll take up some of those opportunities. And there's a range of people here today, from people who are very much, they know the community development and community development learning is at the centre of what they do, and other people who do do community development and are involved in community development learning, but maybe don't use that language. The one thing that did surprise me was, um, obviously the voluntary sector is having quite a hard time at the moment, I think community development is having quite a hard time at the moment. But nobody's enthusiasm has zapped. You know, the enthusiasm that we saw today, people are still really enthusiastic. They still value community development. A lot of the housing associations that were here were very much wanting to stick with community development because they've seen, you know, the value that it brings to their work. What you've got here today probably is, you know, the, one of the best gatherings you can get. People who are advocates of community learning who will, you know, stand up for it. And maybe everybody standing up for it together might just make it a bit, bit more likely for that power to shift a little, you know, and obviously then through the community development work that will help the members of the community that, that people are working with as well, um, maybe gather a little more power as well, uh, which is which is what one of the ideas is supposed to be at the moment, to give the people more power, um, maybe we might be able to help that, not necessarily in the way that <laughs> the government expects, but that we can't nice. Thank you. One of the things that, that's definitely in common with the work of the South West Foundation and the Federation for Community and Learning, and obviously an interest at Bath Spa as well, 
is working with small groups, working with small community groups and what's unique about community development learning or one of the things is actually it's linked to the practice of community development but starting off with self-identified needs, self-identified learning interests, making the links between community action and community learning, making the links between individual learning and action and collective and that's something very, very powerful that's at the centre. Even though probably everybody from any organisation that was here today has had something to do with their funding, which has been problematic for them, whether they've had a massive funding cut, or they're expecting a funding cut, or they've been reorganised, or whatever it is, that didn't in any way affect the sort of enthusiasm and the kind of level and quality of contributions at all. It, it didn't, I don't know, maybe it even made it more um, thoughtful and powerful because people are thinking more hard about what their future is going to be, I suppose. But you know, I expected everybody to be passionate and engaged in what they're doing, but the degree to which they were surprised even me, I think. Mean. Do you think this sector has got something to teach to uh, the, the corporate sector? Well, you're not kidding. I, Masses, I, yeah. I, you know what, I, I've got the feeling my involvement in community development learning going back about 30 years or so, whatever it is, goodness, um, is that training and development, learning and, and training and development, my view particularly, I, I got involved in teaching and learning around immigration and nationality law and practice, and having attended a participatory learning pro, um, process that the Federation put on in its older form, I started to change the way I taught the law to the lawyers and activists that I work with and um, my feeling is I think business training has caught up with that way of working mm -hmm. which is about um, putting the person's experience into the process and it's not about an expert. There's something for me about expertise and not expert which is quite important in the process of learning and the expertise you have is around creating situations within which people learn and they learn by reflecting on what they've done, um, whatever it is and I think that's something for me that I think I, I feel from the way I've looked at business training development, some way or other business training has picked up on, on that. You know, our prime purpose isn't training. Um, you know, it's, it's one of our three prime purposes. And, um, you know, my job isn't necessarily in training, but, you know, I've been involved in the training. And we've just been amazed how really relatively small amounts of investment and, and money will enable people who have not taken part in training and learning previously to actually take part and then because it's focused on community development a lot of it is about bringing change to your community um, and it gives people the tools and the confidence and um, you know the ability to actually do that and that, that's that's the really good bit about it all that's a bit that we really like and also a lot of the projects as I said at the conference a lot of projects that we fund there's a community development worker somewhere in the background that's helping those projects and you know our, our fear is that under the current, current kind of climate that some of that's disappearing so we're going to do our best to make sure it doesn't disappear. Marks out of 10 for today in terms of how it met your, your initial aims. Well I'd, I'd probably give it 10 but then. I was <laughs> going to say nine and a half but I thought no actually I'd, I'd say 10 and then I thought well why say nine and a half actually I think it's been excellent. Yeah. I think it's been 10 out of 10. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I've been involved in loads and loads of conferences of different types, and this has probably been the best one I've ever been involved in, quite genuinely. Yeah. Really? Yes, yeah. of course. And from my point of view, even the workshop I did where I, 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 my presentation wasn't on my memory stick, so I had to do it from... Um, <laughs> Improvisation still there. I improvised, <laughs> and actually, and I did a series of questions that I asked for, for feedback, and I expected one of the questions to be low, but actually nothing was low. It was all quite yeah. medium to high um, in terms of its... Um, feedback so you know, the instant feedback was quite positive. Mm. positive but we have yet to read the evaluation forms mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. but no well, you didn't have a score so we yeah. don't have to worry let about me just ask them. people for Marks comments 10, but yeah. I, I was listening to people as they were going out they were coming up to us and saying oh that was a really great day I had a great time learned a lot it's really good 